Tubes, Tubes, this is your slowest section, but let's see what you can do. Talibird from Loser's Bracket. Is it the dark horse? Who's Talibird? Is Talibird still in? Yes, she is. She's jumping low. She lands early. She does it. Into the finish. Talibird fails. Talibird is out. It's Tubes. Oh my goodness, Steph. Watching the first slalom part now. Both Wolsal and Hugo side by side, getting it very good. Just a few hundreds between the two players as they now about to go up the slalom section where Hugo crashes and Wolsal crashes oh, crash. and Alpha crashes. It is a fiesta here, but it looks like Alpha and Wolsal are the best of it. Hugo with a big crash and it is a super close battle between these two for the final ice slide. Who will get it? Alpha goes oh, out. Wolsal barely again. stays on. And Prepare your Mon Castillos, please because now we're gonna approach the ice section. Black Lotus has a point three lead. Guntars, Clem are just behind Sulus, but Guntars rushing B there. Look at that, and he's losing. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 qui sont en train d'aller mettre les points du côté Flying Eyes et ils sont en train d'aller... Oh Asso 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 Mais non Oh c'est bon C'est bon <rire> Quoi Asso Asso Erlang Again, and instead, Shift Gaming at the moment, dominantly in the lead, Onera and Anex not really that close in what we've seen so far, the final part of the map, Really hasn't proven an issue for any of the players at all. Eddie, oh. in this case, though, proving me wrong. Thank you for that. <laughs> but instead, it's Dexter and New Prime picking up the one, two. So no worries whatsoever for Shift Gaming. That is enough for a round win. Come on, Eddie. I was proving a point. <laughs> I was looking at Eddie on top of that, and I just see right in front of him, as we're talking about Eddie, Annex hitting the As here we see Volnera indeed. making a small mistake, he needs to release a lot, so Annex needs to step it up, and he's gonna overtake every single shift THE player there, getting himself second position. He turns a little bit slower though, and Rotaker- What did he clip into? What? The snipes? I don't know what Roker, Rotaker just did, but uh, uh, that kinda clipped. cost him the round. He clipped <laughs> into something. He clearly did just slowed down, down suddenly. Yeah. Did, did he, it did it he would have still been a win. Now I think even if he did not clip, that yeah, that still would have been a win. No, because they uh, were one two. Yeah. Himself yep, and yep, Annex, yep. they both clipped. Wow, what a what a odd finish, right? Uh, it was uh, yeah. very close up to that point. I am noticing that Annex is the same thing as map 09, where when that water bug does happen, it yep, sucks. Yep. But Giuliano has the lead, and if one of these players can't do the finish, that's Valdera, oh! and that is the other player too. Oh, Giuliano oh, and Bionic. No, it's just... <laughs> he's less than 100. It's less than 100. Oh, less than 100. No way. He drove... We'll say, I'll say it again. The dirt is where the danger lies. Don't yeah. worry about the ice. You're like, ah, I don't like ice. It's, 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 the, it's, ice the, ice. it's, the, it's ice the ice wheels. It's not the ice. It's the ice wheels on wheels. the dirt. And you gotta get that angle right. If you don't get the angle right, if you don't get the speed... Like, you just, you just fly out. You just fly out. Lorenzia is showing us exactly how it's done by flying out. <laughs> Giuliano and Fionix, though, allowing all these players to simply overtake him. And the, I mean, the streak has been broken. Golden Trio finally broken. went around. They finally went around after 13 rounds in a row losing. They finally took a round. They are not down and out just yet. They are looking to take the title. And, you know, if we had to give up 24 and 25 for that, so 
be it, but we will fight back on 20, and it's looking like another close race. All the trio players at the front. And it's looking like a 3v2 as well with an Xamer back behind by 7 tenths of a second. That's gonna hurt a lot. Venera does get in between the trio pack, but for Tooth and Nail. You said it, it's a very simple map, but look at them jumping off of the corners of these blocks to land earlier Whoa. on their left side, on their right sides. But look at that, three players already out here. And Dexter is the one flying the flag for his team. Elkon right behind, Mika in third. It's all about Mimo Jr. Now, where does he finish? Does he finish in fifth? Oh. He needs fifth. Oh. He's does going he get it? Oh, no. no, no, he won't. He's falling. <laughs> He's in the water. No, Nemo, Nemo. Jr. Oh. Wait, wait, he needs to finish. He's not going to finish. And Amaterasu finish. finishes he, with minus 30 seconds. Mimo Jr. writes minus minus in chat. I mean, true, is it really minus, minus 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 or <laughs> you had all the time in the world to come in? Jesus is still in behind and he is not dead whatsoever. Giuliano needs to keep this third position from yes, Lumelius right and Lorenzius. He doesn't get it. He's right beside. Let's see it. Lorenzius. Bosbas. Who has it? Bosbas wins. And there you go. Map five. We go to 24. By the looks of it, Lumelius getting a better line, but Lorenzius bumped speed. Okay, Rumelius is just risking it for the biscuit. Let's see if it's gonna work out. With a low jump, it actually worked out. Bosbas got a land bug, or what the fuck was that? Eh? Okay, go, go. I will try, but yeah, it's 19 anyway. Davinky, Davinky, you, 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 you. Uh, Mika just crashed. Really? Oh. Yeah. Although Elcock is in front of me, so. Oh no. <laughs> I think Elcock died. And Mimo just died. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Hmm. I don't understand what happened. Okay, so we can't get 5 out here. Bullish. <laughs> At least it's not. This map is something else in rounds. Anything can happen. Just this slight- Oh my god! And Yandro gets the first place! And Birdie gets the third place! I suggested anything can happen in this map! And Taipan gets the round! How does that even happen? Everyone fails the end. And Taipan goes in the lead with 3 2. Not on there. <laughs> but that it says a lot about this map, right? It doesn't say uh, too much if you're in the lead for the entire way. It's all about the Zoop at the end right now, though. The Golden Trio in the lead. Vionics oh. is out of there. And Zinc gets in first. Morioka in second and Tan in third. We went from an ace for Golden Trio and swapped it around with a Vortex Gaming ace instead. And <sighs> everyone seems confused. It's this ending. This <laughs> ending is absolutely nuts because that was Golden Trio's map around to win. Okay, let's follow Kappa now. He failed his jump last time. This time he has it. How big is the gap in the splits? It looks to be 1.8 seconds, but does Afi make that next jump with the lower speed? Oh. Kappa hitting the wall now. This could be very close. This is suddenly not over. Afi's going to be able to speed up all throughout this part. And what should have been a decided round is suddenly anyone's game. It really is. It's so close between the two of them now. About half a second, the difference. You can see Pac there having a little chuckle to himself. In. It doesn't matter right now, as he is not in contention for top four at all. That's looking like Asi is the one doing it. And look at the flips going out. See ya later, Shift Gaming. Qui va tomber? Qui va faire une erreur? Plouf. Pour Kridi, Zinc qui va faire une première place. Est-ce que Kridi? Kridi, il est totalement. Oh là là, Kridi. Oh, Kridi. Ta 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 
Mais non, mais... Three players. <rire> Line, let's see this final drift coming in. <rire> Betty actually hits the outside of that corner, allowing Min to come in to finalist mode as well. We have double finalists at the end of Burn It All Down. And, um... Medic. All right, through the first cross section of the map, Bren has the lead by about a tenth or so. Mime in second, Scrappy two tenths down. We'll move into this left-hander. We've seen Scrappy fall out of this one before, but this is the first really technical portion. You got to hit this drift, and then you just got to send it full speed as quick as you can through this next turn, through the grass. Everyone's managed it, but Bren has a strong early lead here, building up towards the identities. Three tenths up of your scrappy mime, four tenths down, and Brem, assuming you don't make any mistakes, you can taste the world final. Scrappy trying to catch as quickly as he can. Mine still down in fourth. Scrappy is catching Bren though and has overtaken him. Coming up into the jumps. Hold it together. Scrappy manages to get onto the booster on the first one. Bren still chasing Mime, catching up as well. Mime has more speed and he has the inside line. Scrappy looking to try and get inside Mime here, but onto the final straight. Mine is just in the lead. Scrappy trying to get the speed oh. through and he will take it. Oh, mine failed at the final hurdle. Ooh. Bren comes second. The small lead in the front. This part is usually the part where people bonk, because if you go slightly Ooh. too Bye. hard, <laughs> who bonked? <laughs> that was Eddie. Damn, unlucky, Eddie, unlucky. But it seems like attack place. Oh, Palmar having a nice attack with a oh, very risky line from Palmar. Potentially can deny a place from Winky a Spider, sorry. Oh, it's a very close fight between these two. It's gonna, it's a bit of, again a bit of a deja vu situation. Looks like Palma has a bit more speed. Will he be able to deny? And he did by six thousandths of a second. He denied Spider his first finalist opportunity, and thus he will closing in on his finalist status himself. Binky Face just needs. Okay, let's follow Kappa now. He failed his jump last time. This time he has it. How big is the gap in the splits? It looks to be 1.8 seconds, but does Offy make that next jump with the lower speed? Oh. Kappa hitting the wall now. This could be very close. This is suddenly not over. Offy's going to be able to speed up all throughout this part. And what should have been a decided round is suddenly anyone's game. It really is. It's so close between the two of them now. About half a second, the difference. You can see Pac there having a little chuckle to himself. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with your assessment there. As we go into the ending here, Radiance is gonna Ooh. mess it up! AO8! Winning it out in the AO8! Oh, AO8 strikes again. But. But is he gonna get this turn correct? This is where it matters, this is where this turn comes down to. 50 gonna fall out, Min gonna fall out, Winky Face currently in first. Is gonna be enough Chung on the attack, but Winky Face gets the upper gear, and Winky Face is gonna be our Asia Os loser because he just crashed the ending. My god, what is happening? 50 with the deny. I think Min retired because he didn't want to uh, finish because he thought Winky. Oh my god, it's simply Nick going to the oh, moon no. with a massive plastic. Down. Not what you want. Oris, look at that. Just oh. repeating success until he flies off into the stratosphere. Where are you going? But a very close match coming in the last two turns. Pinky Face having a small lead, but looks like Spyro is going to take a bit better line for exit speed. Looks like Pinky Face got the gear down, but Paulo has a bit more speed. Will it be enough for the Spyro to catch up? And will the Spyro actually take it? Yes, he will. Pinky Face. <laughs> no, Paul Mall actually crashed just before the end, and even <laughs> NRC managed to snipe him just before. Ay, ay, ay. That's, that's, uh, that's very unfortunate for Paul Mall. But yeah. It's Watching the first slalom part now. Both Wolsal and Hugo side by side getting it very good. Just a few hundreds between the two players as they now about to go up the slum section where Hugo crashes and Wolsal crashes crash. and Alpha crashes. It is a fiesta here, but it looks like Alpha and Wolsal are the best of it. Hugo with a big crash and it is a super close battle between these two for the final ice slide. Who will get it? Alpha goes oh, out. Wolsal barely again. stays on. And just make sure we stay ahead, right? You, 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 this is where this communication is essential. Even with the positions being our, as they are at the moment, this can be a round win for Indonesia. They just have to keep their cool. As you're going for the inside line, then the outside, he might get overtaken here at the finish, right? What? Oh my goodness, <laughs> everyone decides to get acquainted with the finish pole. 
My I'm word. It causes him to get into turtle mode. No turtle power here. We're not fighting Shredder. Instead, we're seeing Shift bring in another ace. They just need to nail the jump, nail the landing. Eddie decides to go for the lower one. Dexter hits the border. Do they bring in a number five? Is there a number five possible? Assy is going to try it. Is he overtakes? He overtakes. <laughs> he actually overtakes. Oh no. They went from an ace to a round loss. Just like that. <laughs> Far. It looks like uh, all the Finnish players are just uh, cruising forward while Delta does some backflips. Very nice backflip. He actually flips straight onto the uh, bobsleigh section and keeps going. That was uh, very impressive, although not fast, unfortunately. Yeah, it's 1 out of 10 when it comes to speed, but it's 10 out of 10 for style oh. and landing points, I, I do have to say. Exactly that. What a beautiful... Favor, Dvigno trying to overtake, but not a good corner. Kawi building up a bit more of a length, but then he jumps in. Oh my, I, this is too close to call, right? This is simply too close to call. This is all coming down to the wire. Critty Wait. coming into contention. Wait. More speed, but he hits the side of the wall. <laughs> 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 oh, 